Earlier today, Canelo narrowed down the list of potential opponents, eliminating top contenders David Benavidez and Terence Crawford from consideration for the Cinco de Mayo weekend clash. This news came as a disappointment to many fans who were hoping to see Canelo take on either the undefeated Benavidez or fellow pound-for-pound -pound great Crawford. But it also now begs the question, who does Canelo have left to choose from for this date? I'm going to break down the options, analyze the likelihood of each matchup, and give my prediction for who I think Canelo will ultimately face. First, let's talk about David Benavidez, who was very clearly upset at not getting the Canelo shot. With Terence Crawford out of the running, David Benavidez emerged as the frontrunner to challenge Canelo Alvarez on May 4th. The undefeated Benavidez, 28-0, 24-KOs, was Canelo's mandatory challenger for his WBC 168 LB title and likely represents the biggest money fight available for Cinco de Mayo weekend. Promoter PBC has invested heavily in Canelo with a massive contract and securing a dance partner with Benavidez's name value gives them the best shot at a profitable pay-per-view. While some have criticized Benavidez as a weight bully who boils down from cruiserweight, he was a competitor that Canelo simply couldn't afford to overlook the dangerous power puncher. At just 26 years old, Benavidez posed a serious threat, having stopped his last three opponents. Rather than drain himself to make 168 pounds, Benavidez was eyeing a lucrative clash with Canelo as a springboard to campaign at light heavyweight long term. Of course, politics and egos often play a factor in boxing negotiations. Benavidez has been vocal about feeling disrespected by Team Canelo in the past, but with a major PPV headliner at stake, one would expect cooler heads to prevail. The ball was in Canelo's court to either grant Benavidez the title shot he's earned or explore other options among the remaining candidates. Benavidez and his promoter Samson Lukowicz seemed convinced this was finally going to be his chance at a career-defining fight with the biggest star in boxing. Benavidez has been calling out Canelo for years, always being told he needed to earn the fight. Now, with an undefeated record and coming off a title defense, Team Benavidez felt their time had come. Here's the aggressive message he delivered for Canelo. That was pretty ballsy from David Benavidez, and he clearly seemed super hyped up about fighting Canelo. As he said, Benavidez is entering his prime, and fighting Canelo would have cemented him as one of the top guys in the world of boxing. However, things didn't work the way he wanted. Canelo refused to face Benavidez, and this has disappointed boxing fans a great deal. So when news broke that Canelo dismissed the idea of fighting Benavidez altogether, it had to sting. Bad blood seems to be brewing there, and Benavidez will now have to go back to the drawing board for his next move. Some believe that Canelo was afraid of fighting Benavidez as he would have caused him a lot of trouble in the ring. One way or another, Canelo plans to fight on May 4th, so there is a slight chance that Canelo might reverse his decision and Benavidez gets the opportunity he has wanted for so long. Undoubtedly, this is the fight people are dying to see, and if it happens, it'll be a blockbuster show. While the Benavidez news wasn't necessarily shocking, I did find eliminating Terence Crawford to be an unexpected decision from Canelo. There was real momentum building towards a Canelo Crawford showdown on May 4th. As a top pound for pound fighter like Canelo, Crawford has the name, value, and skill to sell a huge PPV fight. So why dismiss Bud so easily? My guess is that while fans would be thrilled at the matchup, Canelo saw too much risk fighting the cunning technician in Crawford. Perhaps he is looking for a perceived easier fight for his first at 175 LBs. If so, it would be smart matchmaking, if a bit disappointing. Who's left for Canelo? Okay, no Benavidez or Crawford for Cinco de Mayo weekend. So who does that leave on Canelo's list? Well, according to reports, there are a few names still in the running. Christian Mbili. The undefeated Frenchman is a solid contender at 175 pounds with a lot of knockouts, but not well known to casual US fans. 
more likely a future opponent down the line than next opponent. David Morell Jr. Dangerous Cuban contender at 168 pounds but fighting as low as 160 recently. Very heavy-handed but raw skill-wise, would be a bold choice for Canelo to take such a risk. Edgar Berlanga, rising unbeaten New York attraction, has incredible streak of 16 straight first-round KOs to start career. Fan-friendly style but big step up against Canelo. Has fight later this month so turnaround to face Canelo would be very fast. William Skull, another undefeated Cuban contender, this time at 175 pounds. Not quite as advanced in his pro career as Mbilly, but has nice amateur pedigree. Probably not well known enough yet to headline a Canelo PPV, however. The problem for Canelo. So as you can see, there are definitely still options out there for Canelo Alvarez on May 4th. Good fighters who would jump at the chance and bring solid skills to make the matchup exciting. However, the big problem is there is no clear PPV level name out there that would truly get fans buzzing. No obvious next big challenge that builds his legacy further like Benavidez or Crawford would have. This puts Team Canelo in a tough spot. Do they pick the most exciting style matchup even if it doesn't move the needle much? Or do they play it safer against a bigger name contender even if fans criticize the level of opposition? It will be very interesting to see how matchmakers Eric Gomez and Eddie Reynoso play this. Does Canelo stick with an American? One wrinkle to all this is Canelo stated his intention is to fight an American next. That would seemingly rule out names like Mbili, Morel Jr. and Skull. Could Canelo have a change of heart on that stipulation or simply be confused where some of these contenders are actually from? If he sticks firm on that requirement, it really narrows the field to almost no viable candidates. Very few American fighters at 168 or 175 pounds that could headline a Canelo PPV. At best, you have someone like Jesse Hart or Edwin Rodriguez. Much more likely as Canelo opens up to non-American opponents as all signs pointed to before this latest interview. TikTok for Canelo's choice. So now the boxing world waits with bated breath to see who Canelo Alvarez will choose for his next foe. This is a very tricky spot for matchmakers. Normally promoters want to lock in and announce fights as early as possible, but perhaps Canelo's star power gives them leeway to take their time deciding. One thing's for sure, with each passing day without an announcement, PBC and streaming service Amazon Prime have to be getting nervous. They invested huge money into signing Canelo, so are expecting a major fight to anchor one of their big Mexico holiday weekend shows. Let me know how you guys feel about these developments. Who do you want to see share the ring with Canelo on May 4th? And who do you expect he will ultimately choose when it's all said and done? Do tell us in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more spicy news. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy fighting.